yeah, there, there'll be a, a, a conversation going on and really the, they only say three or four things to each other back and forth, but it takes 20 pages to get through it. Uh, reminds me a little bit of, of some of the like Lord of the Rings books. You know, how many, how many pages do you need to tell me that you're walking through a field? Hey YouTube, <clears throat> this is Luke, the double A pipe man. Just uh, hopped out of the shower and uh, having my first pipe of the day. It looks just beautiful outside. Uh, I've been watching, you know, some of the, the morning joggers and they all jogged this way with jackets on and about 30 minutes later I'll jog back this way with them tied around their waist, which is a fantastic sign. Um, first bowl of the day is uh, Briar Fox. About halfway through it. Kind of starts to ramp up halfway through. This uh, this weekend kicks off my my lawn care game. I am very much so looking forward to it. Last night I did a quick lap around the house with the dog, and uh, looks like all the bulbs are starting to break through. We even have a, a couple irises. Uh, my personal favorite flower uh, that are that are blooming and, and some tulips coming up with this being such an old house there's I mean there's all kinds of crazy bulbs everywhere I mean we've got these really old daylilies that, that come up uh, they're beautiful but I'm planning on smoking a chicken this evening and while that is uh, being cooked, uh, I'm gonna get kind of that last bit of raking done that needs to be done. I might I might even run over the grass with uh, with a bag with the mower just to pull up anything and then and maybe rake over some stuff again. We've got rain in the forecast for the weekend and early next week, so I think this is my time to get down some of those granular products and let nature do the rest. Got to get the water hoses hooked up. Got so much to do. It's, uh... Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait to be outside for extended periods of time, not just running out to uh, let the dog do his business. Just doing a, a quick, quick catch up. Uh, didn't make a video yesterday. Just kind of had, I don't know, had nothing going on, but nothing new to say. Um, I'm trying to think what else is going on. Uh, I am really enjoying reading uh, La Diva Nicotina. Um, super cool book, and it. I've been reading it in the in the evenings with a pipe, and uh, 
I've learned so much about tobacco uh, <laughs> just how mankind and, and tobacco have been buddies for a very, very long time. Uh, it's It's been a part of human culture uh, and, and predominantly American, but I mean like old America, way before the, the states were united, way before there were states. And, uh, I haven't gotten into, into, to pipe smoking in the book yet. It's mostly just talking about the, the plant itself. Um, I'm struggling through, uh, Atlas Shrugged. That book is, a uh, is a doozy. Um, kind of been the, the, the other book I've been working on. Yeah, yeah there, there'll be a, a, a conversation going on and really the, they only say three or four things to each other back and forth, but it takes 20 pages to get through it. Uh, reminds me a little bit of, of some of the like Lord of the Rings books. You know, how many, how many pages do you need to tell me that you're walking through a field? Um, another book I have queued up and I'm excited to read is a, uh, it's a World War II fictional novel um, called The Good Shepherd. And it's about uh, a... A destroyer uh, going across the ocean to England and uh, the reason I, I looked it up is there's a movie coming out this summer um, not that we'll be able to go see it But it's starring Tom Hanks, um, called Greyhound, and it's based on this book. And I, I figured I'd go ahead and, and read it. When I was younger, I, I used to really enjoy those uh, World War II fictional stories. And there's, you know, just enough factual information peppered in and, and you know, possibly a love story or, a, a, you know, just a, a battle that didn't really happen. A crew that never existed. I think in this case, a ship that never existed. But the movie looks cool from the, from the previews. Uh, I really enjoy submarine movies and I, and this one, I think they are mostly against uh, submarines. They're against the uh, the German U-boats are kind of picking off this armada that's going across. And uh, just from some of the the previews, it reminded me a little bit of, of U-571, if you remember that. Uh, movie from, God, I don't know, probably 10 years ago. But yeah, I'm going to read the book. Uh, give me something to do. And uh, that's my little ramble for the day. Um, it's earlier than I usually make videos. About 10.30 here. Which is about time to, to wake the dog up from his morning nap. And I'm gonna go take stock of mulch and make sure I've got enough fertilizer and stuff to put down this weekend. Smoke some pipes. Got a good day ahead of me. Hope everyone's well. 
Uh, I read this morning that the county I live in, which is uh, Washtenaw County, the cases jumped real, real bad last night uh, of diagnosed cases that up 29% today as compared to yesterday. It's about how much, uh, all my mutual funds are down. <laughs> this too shall pass. You guys take it easy. My name's Luke. I'm the Double A Fight Man. Be safe and happy smokes.